I do apologize for the delay in these videos for those of y'all who've been watching from my other channel. For those of you who have not, a little context behind this, I've got an incredibly simple, it seems stupid or so simple, uh, workout that starts out with just, you know, um, it's according to whether you've worked out or not before. If you haven't really worked out much at all in the last many years of your life, um, basically I suggest to either starting out with either five or 10 push-ups, five or 10 squats, whatever you're capable of. If you haven't worked out in a long time, if you've worked out a little bit, you know, um, you can start with 10 or 20, whatever you're capable of. And also five sit-ups, five leg lifts, um, and also 10 burpees, you know, just basically putting your hands down on the ground, kicking out, um, kicking your feet back up, jumping up at the top. And then every four days you add another set is basically what I have been doing thus far. And, you know, I'm suggesting to everybody that I've injured my foot and these past few days have been crazy. Everything from my buddy Pinto coming down to some crazy trailer trash, ho threatening my baby dog, Sasha. So yeah, I had a little bit of insomnia issues, but anyway, it's been building upon itself. So I believe we've been up to four sets. So I should have added a fifth set, but I'm a little bit late doing this video. So rather than adding a fifth set at this point, um, we're actually gonna go back down to three sets. You're gonna go from four to three sets, or if you're at a higher set than that, you're gonna take a set down from where you're at um, and you're going to add more reps to each exercise that you are already doing. So if you're doing four sets of 10 push-ups, um, you will now be doing three sets of 15 push-ups. So instead of doing 40 push-ups a day, you'll be doing 45 push-ups a day. It's only an increase of five and it's a decrease in set. And then once you get adjusted to that, it, it adds upon itself. At the end of four months, it's kind of like doubling a penny every day for a month. You double a penny every day for a month, and go ahead and look that up, see what it is. This is four months, every four days it doubles, so it's a 30 times of adding sets, reps. That's the uh, idea. Also, if you do not have weights, anything of the sort, I've suggested using like a 30 ounce Gatorade bottle, especially if you haven't worked out before. I mean, there'll be plenty of supplies for now. Um, and doing sets of rear delt raises, curls, shoulder presses, um, oh shoot, old house, forgot, there's a thing there. Um, concept extensions. And yeah, um, so curls, shoulder press, just with the Gatorade bottle. If you got a 30 ounce Gatorade bottle, um, it's gonna be about, I think it's 30 ounce Gatorade bottle, I'm not sure it is. It's, it's about two pounds at this point. Um, I wouldn't have ever guessed that lifting anything that light would be of any significance. In prison, I would have laughed in your face until I got out and I started sparring and, um, people significantly smaller than me weathered the storm of my power lifting and after a couple minutes when my muscles gassed out and my lungs gassed out uh, they beat the hell out of me so I started seeing especially at Scott Cujo Sigma's gym he's white dude funny as can be built like a baby gorilla um, he's fought Roy Jones Jr. in Roy's hometown and won like two or three rounds against Roy in Roy's hometown uh, he's former WBC champ Got a, a good many pro fighters that are incredible. His um, one fighter who's on the field, I believe he's 9 0, Austin DeAnda, uh, the native nightmare, he's 6 and up from 6 KOs and undefeated with 9 wins. He's fighting uh, Nicky Nate Diaz's guy um, here in a month or so. Here in uh, Roma, it's a huge fight for, for Austin. It's a huge fight. I mean, this is like one of those fights that, like, you know, starts getting in foot places. But anyway, Scott Sigmund, you know, people call him Cujo, I don't know him Scott, um, had me doing all these reps with two and five pound weights. Man, what the hell you got me doing this stuff for? The, the James Bond is shit. You know, that's what we call him in prison. They 
that ain't fond of shit. Had his little skinny guy whooping my ass. Yeah. Um, shoot. He'd have me do a hundred curls with a five pound weight. A hundred shoulder presses with a five pound weight. A hundred tricep extensions with a five pound weight. And then, these bands on his pencil. You can order resistance bands pretty cheap. This is, um, so you know how many pounds is the glutes? Yeah, 30 pounds, 30 pound resistance band. Um, there are so many things you can do with this that work everything that will keep you from getting injured and make you a whole lot stronger, your endurance crazy. Fighting, uh, endurance isn't, uh, the strength isn't as much about how much can you get for one or two times. It's about how much how strong can you stay over an extended period of time? So I could, yeah, I could lift. You know, um, when I was in prison, the best was I was doing two sets of 495 for five on deadlift and doing two sets of 405 for 10 on deadlift after that. And yeah, I could, I, I'd be real strong for a few reps. But when I got out and started sparring, shoot, after that two or three minutes, these, these small, you know, fit dudes were, a weather storm me being like a, a, a baby gorilla bouncing through and you know after they weathered the storm I can get my ass work. Gotta keep an eye out that hussy threat my dog the other night I heard of something but anyway um, Sancho would bark. So with these resistance bands particularly um it's they don't cost them a whole lot them offline you can typically find them at a sporting goods store there's so much you can do with them in addition to everything else so basically you know for the general workout instead of adding a set today we're going to decrease the set and we're going to increase 50 percent in the reps so if you're doing 10 you're now doing 15 if you were doing 20 you're now doing 30 but instead of doing four sets you're doing three sets so if you're doing four sets at 20 it's 80 reps, right? Okay, you're gonna decrease one set at 50% reps. That means you're gonna be doing 90 reps, but in three sets. So it's making the reps a little bit higher, but giving you a break on the sets. And that's how we're doing the increase this time. It's gonna increase in reps or sets each time. And it adds upon itself. It's only been one month. And if you started at, at jack nothing, doing, uh, you know, 10 push-ups once a day for four days, you know, you should be now, or even if you only started at five, you should have gone from five to 20 in four sets a day, or from 10 to 40. 40 push-ups a day from starting at just 10 a day, I mean, that's a significant improvement. And this is only month one. So think about that. If you're at 40 at month one, imagine another three months. This has been the hardest month if you start this and you been working out in a long time if you never worked out. So I know this is really like, seems like basic to people who might have worked out before. But I mean, this is something I applied as somebody who worked out every day for two hours a day in prison. It was my life power lifting and there's so many little muscles I didn't know about that go into fighting and everything else like rear delts for uh retraction of punches which I'll get to that in a second that's something else I'm going to talk about but with these resistance bands you know um if you get one I mean I start doing uh just do one set a day for the first four days then add a set each day just like everything else um, me personally, I like doing sets of 100, just doing a set of 100 each thing. So curls, everything else, you know, um, grip is a huge thing because you can have wrist wraps, you can have this, you can have that with a bar, lifting a weight in a controlled motion. But when you actually get into it or into a real world thing, like just picking something up, if your grip gives out, 
It don't matter how strong whatever muscle is. If your hands can't hold it, what was the point? What was the point? If your hand, your arms, if your grip is strong enough to hold it, what was the point? You know, I, I did lift a good bit. I, I, I did lift 535 without wrist ramps or a belt. That's for one rep. My forearms gave out quick. I made forearms a priority. And I did forearms every day. I do something like, I said at 25, with the uh, 45 pound bar. I start out with 35 pound dumbbell. And I do eight, 10, just break and standard curls. And I do eight to 10 hammer curls back to back. So that's either 16 to 20 with 35 pounds. Take the 45 pound bar. And every five, I do a little closer and do about 25 reps. Then switch to a reverse curl, 25 reps. And then resistance band, 100 reps. And then sometimes I do bar hangs. If you have a pull up bar, I dare you to try this and think you're going to go in and be in a bad mother. Think you're going to go in this and think you're just going to kill it. I did, I thought, shoot, hang off a bar for a minute. I ain't got to do a pull. All I'm going to do is do this hang, hold on to a bar, put your feet off the ground for one minute with a timer. It sounds easier than it is. About 30 seconds in, you're going to start thinking, oh, man, this is a little bit harder than I thought. 40 seconds in, you're going to be like, ah. 50 seconds in, you're going to be like, oh, ah. Everything, if you don't feel it, you're going to see little muscles start twitching. Yeah. Now do four sets of one minute holds. And take, and take just two to three minutes between each set. That'll be able to grip up. That's a big one for me. With those minute hangs. And then static hold, getting the 45 pound bar, and just holding it for one minute at a time, then resting for a minute. I usually do four sets of one minute holds with one minute rests of regular, so I'd hold it right here, a little bit higher than midway up. That midway, I'd hold it right here. Oh, it'll start burning. And then, four sets of reverse holds for one minute with one minute rests. I'm telling you. Start running. And doing all this back to back to back every day. Got my grips to where I, I got a few stupid nicknames. Some people call me Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Grips and all this other stuff. Um, I'm only about 175 pounds. And like typically with the way I dress, I got a shirt sh sh to the model a little bit right now, and even then I don't look that impressive. Um, when I get a hold of people, they get that little shock. Like, what's going on right now? This isn't, this isn't right. And it's not supernatural. It's from work. Any muscle that gave out, any muscle that wore out, I put work into. And Grips are huge. Grips and rear delts are two of the biggest underdeveloped, overlooked muscle group. You know, your forearms, which grips, is all the way through your forearms. Like a hammer curl. Hammer curl works, of course, it works your forearms, but it works. Your bicep is two different parts. This part, those grips is tremendously important. So anyway, um, I've also talked about doing um, three leg lifts with one kick, each leg. So it's 30 leg lifts, 10 kicks. If you're capable of doing that, it's a lot more fun than, you know, sitting around adding more leg exercise. Leg exercise is not that fun. I mean, that's why so many people are building, you know, my calves ain't nothing. 
and especially since I broke my foot, my calves, my right calf, withered up. Now, watch me. Hamstring's big as a son of a, but calves, that, that's something that's hard to build. But anyway, so just to refresh, the rear foot is at a 45 degree angle. And the front leg is up, up, up. And just kick out. That is the number one thing I do if somebody's trying to charge me and hit on it and knock me out. That's what I did the other night. You know, those kids pulled up and I showed them so I told them slap me in the face many times as you could. And I was standing there with my hands down. So what I did. I stood with my hands down and I'm waiting. I'm like, Him coming into me and my eyes. My foot into them. So when they're moving into me, their force are coming forward. And eyes, my leg is coming up and coming out and touching them. And a lot of times it'll make them fall forward. Ain't no. I've got them coming over and I'm going to add stuff like this um, with them to show this. But basically everything, I've said what to add. But something else to add, because I've talked about the kicks. So many people, I punch hard, you don't understand. When I get mad, I just say rad. I mean, everybody thinks they're a bad mother. And, um, they show up to train you, train people, and you see, they don't know shit. Um, the average person thinks they're the baddest mother. If they get angry enough, they're gonna knock you out. Okay, they're gonna get angry, they're gonna start breathing hard. They got about 30 seconds to a minute. Yeah, you just see red, you're just gonna see red for about 30 seconds, and I'm gonna roll you around the ground like a little pig. Okay? I'm not gonna have prison there, somebody me a little bit and um, I tried to be mature then eventually there were a couple different things that I said because you know you know my, my rational size thing I'm just gonna have prison be cool this person's drunk whatever but then you know my street size thinking man knock this motherfucker out Who the hell do they think they are Going with my hands. Tell me. So eventually, you know, that, that whole mature thing, it, it, you can only be mature so many times before you um, give up your dignity. At which point, you know, there was one time in the hallway. Plenty of space for plants, about 15 feet. So now, let me stand right here. I'm about to stand 10 foot away from the person. I drew a line with my foot. Oh, <laughs> right foot, sir. Drew a line with my foot. Right there. I said, You won't whoop me. Step across that line. And I step back, 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 back. Step across it. Tell me what you want to do. You know, I, I don't care who you are in relation to anyone I know. Step across that mother line. And I was ready to go, but I mean, he shook them up. And then the second time, that they, they like, ain't like they were tough. Second time, there's an issue when they did like this. They did. They did. <laughs> and as soon as they did that, of course, I dropped my foot back. Anytime somebody stepping forward with it, I'm like, no, stay in here and let you do that to me? No. One of the main things about fighting is distance management. The person who controls the distance controls the fight. So as soon as they stepped towards me, I dropped my right foot back 
and immediately put my hands up. He said, and then they put their hands, they weren't trying to fight. He said, oh, put your hands down. I said, no. He said, you put your you butt towards me like you're trying to fight. I said, shoot, if you're going to butt towards me, I'm going to put my hands up. They said some other slick stuff, and I said, listen, I said, let's be real about this. I said, you know, I've been doing this twice a day for a minute, and at that time, I'd only been doing it twice a day for about nine months, I guess. But, I mean, it was good enough. It was good enough in prison, what I'd done in Kemper Friday before. So after I'd been out and done it for another nine months, twice a day, four or five hours a day, it was definitely enough. I said, listen, yeah, you might be a good bit bigger than me, but you're a good bit overweight. See, you got about five punches in you, maybe 15 seconds, and you better hope you catch me with one of them, which you won't, because at that point, you won't be out of breath. I'm going to go your back, round on the ground like a little pig, do whatever I want to you. So fuck at me again. The reason I learned to fight, the reason I did this endurance stuff. So I never had to deal with somebody like that. A bully. Somebody wants to intimidate you and make you be afraid of their wrath, of their consequences. Shoot. You know, I, I dealt with that fear at one point. And then started, you know, probably got, I'm probably autistic. I looked at it analytically. They want to make me afraid of them from physical harm. So I need to learn how to fight. Then I'll never have to worry about that lip. Because that lip will burn me up. And that lip can burn you up and make you resent for a lifetime. Or you can spend a few hours a day for not that long and get a good grasp on stuff and not have to take anything from anybody ever again. That's why I train. I train so I don't have to deal with a damn thing from any mother that tries to come at me with any sideways stuff. I mean, seriously. I can't think of one person I've had issues with that knew a thing about fighting. And in prison, I learned the baddest thing about people with their breath meanest face tattoos, gang members, 99% of them talk a good game, put up with it, they couldn't fight, pretend that they couldn't look. So, people want to punch hard, but a lot of people don't know what it's like to throw a punch and miss. Most of your punches you throw, you're not going to hit every punch. I mean, I wish you I wish it was that way. I wish I had, you know, that death touch where I just, everything I threw landed. Like I was just, you know, um, that accurate. But it ain't gonna happen. And the other day when Pinto was over, you know, I love Pinto, he's my brother. But when I've been around people that train so much and I have not had hung around anyone else, I train, I come home. I've forgotten what it's like when people ain't trained. So I have this cover bag, it's uh, this thing over here. You see it a little bit with the microphone, but it's, it's got a spring, it's got a bag on top. And I wasn't even hitting it hard. I had the boxing gloves on it, it don't move as good as the box gloves in case he's asleep. But basically, you know, I was showing him with the stands, you know. Teaching you as much how to land a punch 
course it does. It gives you more fluid. Teach you how to miss and not hurt yourself. How to miss and not be thrown off balance. So, what I'm going to say today isn't as much a full punch. I'm going to start at the basics, just like everything else I've brought up. Don't start out with a full punch. We're going to start off with a retraction. So, whichever hand is your power hand, you step your rear leg back. Like if you put your feet, so your two feet are touching, you know, together. The front leg, 24, the rear leg at a 45 degree angle. And then the rear leg, step back. Bend in your knees. The front leg, mostly down, you know, all the way. On, on the ball here, put the, on the rear leg, your heels up. And then you're going to stomp like you're putting out a cigarette with your rear foot. And you're going to keep this hand up. Very important. And you're going to have that hand out. So 10 times. And if you want to do it each side, that's cool. Most people are only good on one side. We're not going to throw it out. That's what everybody's obsessed with. We're going to pull it back because that's what creates speed the retraction, okay? So with the, the rear hand, rear leg, we're going to have the feet together, step back. We're going to pivot on the rear foot, turning the hip forward at the end of the punch. And this is never locked out like this. It, it should never be locked out. The bend in it. So bend in it. And then we're going to retract. A lot of people retract the same way they throw it off, so they'll go. And that's all good, but what I've had work better for me against professional boxers, professional MMA fighters, is after I throw out, to go up. There. So instead of going here, I've got encounter with the left hook. Good bit if I do that. But as soon as I throw it out, so 10 times, just have it out, and then, you know, say, ready, set. That's it for tonight. I've got to give that speech at the college tomorrow. I won't have that up on here. But, um, yeah, you know, so decreasing a set, increasing reps by 50% in each set. So if you were doing 10 a day, you would have been at 40. Now you'll be at three sets a day at 15 a piece. That'll be 45. If you were at 20 a day, that would have been at 80 reps between four sets. Now you will be doing 90 reps in three sets. That's what's up. And you know, anyway, that's it for now. Sorry, it's been a minute. It's going to be more regular on this. I apologize for the delay. Y'all have a good one.